This is an AT&T big button phone um, for people who have um, vision problems. Uh, it also has a voicemail or, you know, just someone who wants big buttons. Um, these are definitely cool. We plugged it in. It worked. Uh, we heard a bunch of voicemail messages on there for somebody. Uh, <clears throat> we deleted them. And this sold on Bonanza for $30. This is a padded back brace. Um, we find leg braces, arm braces, back braces all the time. And they look like junk uh, to a normal person. But they sell for a lot of money. So this is probably worth almost $100. But it's used and we're wanting to sell it quick. And it sold for $50. Dollars. Another Tam O'Shanter. Uh, I was getting a bunch of questions about this one. We had three of this exact same one. Um, and someone kept asking questions. How, what size is it? What's the measurement here and here? And, you know, it was like three different people asking. And then one guy was like, would you sell it for like, you know, 20 or something? That's half price. And I was just like, nope, I sell these all the time at full price. And Jay was like, oh, we got to sell it. And I'm like, come on, someone's going to buy it. And yesterday somebody did for full price, $40. These are a pair of women's size 11 totes, um, little boot shoes, perfect for snow and rain and stuff like that. Um, they're new, never worn, and they sold for 40 bucks. This is another AA book, 12 Steps and 12 Traditions. It is definitely vintage. It's from 1953. Um, I believe it is a first edition, not a first printing, but a first edition. Um, it's on commission. Our artwork friend had a bunch of books, just stacks and stacks of books as well. This is one of them. Um, I put this up for $2.99. And it sold, so it sold for $300 within a week. This is a new, unused bottle of Truth by Calvin Klein Men. This bottle looks kind of big, um, but it's only half an ounce, and it sold for $20. This is a candle snuffer, uh, the same kind as the, like the candle snipper that I sold, and I found a bunch of these. New in the package, I think three each, and this one sold for seven bucks. This is a Burton brand uh, snowboard ski jacket. Um, it's got some marks on it, uh, a little bit of wear. Uh, so we sold this for 40 bucks. This is a Land's End uh, wool and cotton blend uh, sweater vest. And we took a best offer of $20. Okay, so one person bought all these pillows. Uh, they are goose down feather filled pillows, so they're high quality pillows inside. Um, they have nice covers. This one has um, kind of a textured uh, rope around it. I'm sure there's a sewing term for this. Someone will tell me, I'm sure. Uh, and a, like heavy textured uh, cotton. Um, and this by itself, you know, it's it's a substantial throw pillow, sold for $37. You can see there's little feathers coming out there. Um, and then these ones are a pair. Um, they're, they're a good size, actually. Um, they're also down-filled, and they've got kind of a nice, like, country plaid look. They actually don't look, they don't look bad, like, being on the same couch, maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, and then this set together sold for $40. So all together, that's about $77 worth of pillows. So it's a good to, you can see feathers <laughs> going everywhere. Uh, it's good to keep an eye on pillows like this because, you know, to me, I just see this and I'm like, ah, it's a throw pillow. But, you know, when we had to decorate the house, um, the uh, farmhouse for our Airbnb rental, I mean, things like this can cost a lot of money, especially if you want, you know, a high quality pillow, not just, you know, a polyester fill pillow inside. Um, you know, this is down. So uh, they can cost a lot of money. So people do buy them on eBay. This is one of my favorite mugs of all time. I love the pattern. I think it's so cool. Uh, and I love this color. It's almost like an iridescent brown. Um, and it's made by Salem Stoneware. 
and the pattern is called Georgetown Federalist. Um, I haven't seen any other ones like this. You can buy them on eBay, and I'm sure you can find them in thrift stores. I just thought it was so cool. And someone on the, who listens to the blog um, said, if I buy this mug, will you guys sign it <laughs> for good luck? Um, so I, I have some uh, paint markers here, oil-based paint markers. So hopefully I'll be able to sign the back with a good luck message. And it sold for $14 to a fellow trash elf. Okay, this is not something we usually do, but we went to our local grocery outlet and they had a bunch of um, Starbucks coffee. Um, it was $3 for 10 ounces. This is normally at Starbucks. That, well, they don't sell it anymore, um, but it's normally like $13. So I thought, okay, we bought it for three. I'm just going to throw one up on Amazon just to see if it sells. Um, and it did sell. So it sold for $13. It was $12.95 plus $4.99 shipping. Um, it's 10 ounces. Let's see. Yep, so that's about, well, my scale says it's 0.7, which is about 12 ounces. Maybe with this uh, container, it's a little bit more. Um, so I am able to ship it first class, so that's good. Um, yeah, so this sold for 13 bucks on Amazon. Okay, this is an Ikea family brand um, inflatable neck pillow for traveling. Um, I bought it because we travel a lot, and I just never used it. I cannot sleep on planes, so I would bring this with me, and it's kind of bulky. Um, so I decided to sell it, and it sold for $13. This is a Radio Shack desktop dialer. Um, it's like a, an auto dialer, like it's it can store like a whole 90, I guess, uh, phone numbers and just do a quick dial. And this is kind of an amazing item. It sold for $37. Another Tam O'Shanter hat. Um, we had some lady who was kind of harassing us uh, to bring this price down from $36 to like 15 but we were just like, look, we sell these all the time for full price between $36 and $39. And she sent us many messages over and over and over again. <laughs> and finally it sold for full price. And Jay actually finally just messaged her back and was like, see, it sold for full price. Uh, it was all friendly uh, banter, but it was just funny. It was like, hey, if someone's going to sell it for $15, you should buy it from them. But someone's going to buy this from me for full price. And they did. $36.99. This is the Eddie Bauer keychain that I did talk about in the podcast. It's leather and, like, you know, a brass type metal. And it sold for $15. This was in our death pile. And I thought, you know, someone might want this. They might be an Eddie Bauer fan. This is kind of nice to have a little clip. Uh, but 15 bucks. Pretty amazing. This is a Chicago faucet, a uh, new laundry faucet. And it's one of our new inbox experiments. Although this one had damage, you can see. I took photos of the damage, some nicks. I think someone tried to install it. Um, and there was some wear on the chrome. But if you're willing to overlook that, uh, this is a very expensive faucet, probably about $300 new, um, and we sold ours for a best offer of $125. This is a fancy uh, big wine bottle opener. There's like a way to do it. It's called a rabbit because it kind of looks like a rabbit. Um, I don't know where I found this, at a thrift store or something. And uh, it sold for $25. These are a pair of women's Nike uh, fitness shoes. I think they're like cheerleading shoes. Um, they look pretty good on the bottom. And they sold for 40 bucks. This is an amazing set of Dansk Coben style vintage enamelware pots. And I found these not that long ago at a thrift store couple weeks ago. Uh, this was $4, $4, $5. And I sold them for, let's see, $60, $60, $80. So that's $200 worth of Coben style. Just found at the thrift store. 
sitting in the little kitchen area. Um, there, are, I would have sold them for much higher per piece, but um, you can kind of see there's like some permanent stains. Like those little drip marks, I don't know what someone was cooking, but they will not come off. So there's like little drip marks and there's chips. As you can see there's more drip marks. They're still beautiful and they're still going to last forever. Um, so I, you know, priced them cheaper than I would have. But still, it's great. Somebody bought all of them for $200. These are a pair of vintage uh, patent leather two-tone kind of granny shoes. Um, I had these up as being from the 30s and 40s because that's what they felt like to me. Um, but a bunch of people wrote to me when I first listed them and they were like, those are from the seventies. I had them as a kid. So I changed it to the seventies and I put make offer. I had $80 best offer. They're kind of rough. Um, they don't look like very comfortable shoes. I'm hoping they're purchased just for display because they do not look comfortable at all. Um, and I took a best offer of 30 just to get them out. This is a wrought iron um, set of fireplace tools. You can see there's a broom, there's a little shovel, a pick, and like a picker-upper thing. Um, and the cool thing about this is it was from our newest rental house that we bought. So we are actually trying to make back our closing costs on the house by buying... Uh, selling stuff that was in the house. So this was by the fireplace. You can see it's got a cool design. It's very heavy. Uh, I'm about to pack this thing. Hopefully it'll fit in that box. Ooh, I hope so. Um, and the cool thing is it sold for $250. This is a low pro brand. Um, it's kind of a professional brand. You can see the logo there. Low pro. Uh, little camera bag. It's cute. I've definitely used Low Pro when I was doing video work. Uh, when I do video work, it's a high quality brand, um, so keep an eye out for it. And this is a little one. Uh, it's not too huge, not too fancy, and it sold for 20 bucks. This is a vintage set of drafting tools um, and a drafting pencil in a case. They're not in super good shape. Uh, they've got a little bit of corrosion on them and it's not a very fancy brand. It's Gramercy in Denmark. Um, and I looked these up, you can see, and they just weren't super fancy. So he took a best offer of 20 bucks. These are a pair of men's bright red Wrangler jeans with buttons sewn in so you can wear suspenders. And it comes with the suspenders. Kind of amazing. Um, and these sold for 50 bucks. This is a vintage style uh, acorn ceiling glass light. Um, pretty basic. I think you can just buy these at the hardware store. Uh, but this one sold for $26. So this is a brass um, letter holder, you can see. Or it might be t like steel with a brass color. Um, and... These are super popular, and we see them at thrift stores all the time. It's definitely vintage. Um, and this one sold for $50. This is a print from the 60s. Uh, you can see the mat is discolored. I actually thought it was an original, uh, like, block print. Because you can see here, it says 361. Um, I think that's actually the date, not the edition. Um, and I had it up for really high because I thought if this is original, this is, you know, a cool piece. Um, someone messaged me, uh, a couple days ago and was like, I have this exact same piece and it's also numbered 361. So I think it's a date and I think this is a reproduction. Okay. As you can see here, there's a little copyright mark. So that tells you it is a reproduction print. Um, I have this on super macro. I don't know if you can see it, but what you can do is you can look under a jeweler's loop um, magnifying glass and you can see if these little marks, they look like pencil, um, but they're made up of tiny little dots and that means it's a reproduction print. So I grabbed a jeweler's loop, looked at it and said, yep, she's right. 
it is a reproduction. So I brought the price down. I had it at two fifty. I brought the price down to seventy nine dollars, um, and it sold overnight. So clearly that was a good price. This is a rabbit fur collar. Uh, it's vintage, and it sold to someone in the global shipping program for thirty dollars. This is a Flexi brand um, retractable dog leash with a lock on it. Um, and I had a bunch of these from a box lot at an auction. Uh, but this one sold for 25 bucks. This is a bit of uh, upholstery fabric. 54 inches by 72 inches. I believe it was originally a curtain. Um, and I've had it for a long time. And I took a best offer of 20 bucks. This is an emergency hammer. Um, it's to keep in the car so you can break the window and there's a razor blade on here somewhere to cut your um, seat belt if you need to. Um, and we got a couple of these and this one was on sale for $17.50. This is a mid-century modern uh, gooseneck little desk lamp. Uh, I think I've had this one for a while. Oh uh, no, I know what it is. Lamps are on sale. Um, I think I have 30% off lamps. So this sold for 26 bucks. Another black leather briefcase sold. Uh, it's a little beat up, no keys or anything. Uh, but it's still a sturdy, you know, it's got the shoulder strap and everything. Sturdy little bag, it's got a zipper case on the inside. And it sold for 30 bucks. This is a small vintage box of J.P. Coates mending floss. Uh, it's basically thread. Let's see, I think there's thread in here. There is thread. And this box sold for 15 bucks. This is a vintage faux fur pillbox hat. Kind of hilarious. Look at the inside. Wow, amazing. I've had it for a couple years, so I took a best offer of $25.